Today we are going to make a percussion envelope generator using a Reckless Experimentation Audio Proto 1 Eurorack breadboard module. Parts listen the circuit schematic in the description below. First let's look at the circuit schematic and see what's going on. The basic operating principle of this circuit is to charge and discharge a capacitor at two different controlled rates. The two resistors R1 and R5 control these rates. The diodes are used to make sure only one is operating at a time. When this module is in use, this op amp uses the trigger pulse to charge the 22 microfarad capacitor through the 1 kilo ohm resistor and a diode. The resistor provides the attack profile of the envelope and the diode separates the attack and release portions of the circuit. Once the trigger pulse is over, the envelope generator starts the release phase. The capacitor is discharged th through the potentiometer mounted to the front plate, controlling the rate of release and a diode separates it from the attack phase. The voltage across the capacitor is sent through a unity gain follower to remove any output impedance and then through the output jack. Now let's see how to build this circuit on the breadboard module. Step 1. Remove the three screws to separate the front plate and gain easier access to the breadboard. Place two 10 microfarad capacitors near the top of the board noting the polarity. The negative rail is on the left side of the board and the positive on the right. The ground is available on both sides. Then place the chip on the board. The dot on the chip denotes pin 1 and it should be on the left side. Next, add the power connections, positive to pin 8, negative to pin 4. Now place a jumper between the output and the negative input on the right op amp. Add a jumper from pin 2 to pin 5. Next, add a diode from pin 1 to an open bus. Then a 1 kilo ohm resistor from that bus to another open bus. Now a 22 microfarad capacitor from the 1 kilo ohm resistor to ground. Add a jumper from the capacitor to pin 2 on the chip. Finally a diode from an open bus to pin 1. Now the front plate can be brought back in. Attach the red wire of the first jack to pin 3 of the chip. Attach the black wire to ground. Next, the red wire on the second jack to pin 7 and the black to ground. Final connections are the black wire on the potentiometer to the diode on the open bus and the middle red wire to the 22 microfarad capacitor. Now reattach the front plate using the three screws. Connect unused jacks to an empty bus and fold the wires flat. Now attach the power cable. Red strip on the cable to the red paint on the breadboard. Initial testing with a current limiting power supply is recommended. Once satisfied with initial testing, mount in your enclosure. Connect up the inputs and outputs. Today we are going to use a trigger pulse generator, a Dolfer A-143-9 for our signal source, the Proto-1 to generate the envelope, and a Dolfer A-132-1 for the voltage controlled amplifier. First let's look at some scope traces of the generated envelope. As the potentiometer is turned, the release rate of the envelope can be extended. Now let's hear what it does. Drum sounds from a high tom to a bass drum can be made using this envelope generator. Turning the potentiometer all the way down and the frequency up, we can even make a smoke detector sound. <laughs> 